Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope everyone is having a wonderful week and hopefully everyone is finally getting used to all this teletherapy and Google Classroom and hopefully it's all starting to kind of make sense. Um, I have decided that I'm going to start making some speech therapy videos. Um, so this is my first one. We'll see how it goes. Um, as you can hopefully hear, I'm playing Frozen. So today is a Frozen theme. I know Frozen 2 just came out on Disney Plus. Um, so I'm sure that most of you, if not all, have already watched it. Um, so what I did was I actually created a Frozen story using core vocabulary. Um, I believe that all of you are kind of familiar with this core word board. Um, it is available. I'm gonna start sharing my screen. It's available, um, let's see, I don't know how to do this. Chrome, okay, here we go. So it's available on projectcore.com. If you go to the very bottom, it's got different ones that you can print. Um, this is like just the typical core board, the one that I'm using, but you can also like make a poster. You can make ones with bigger icons. Um, this one's in a set of four, and then the ones that are in black are for kids who um, who have vision difficulties, and so they're high contrast. So if you have a student or a child with vision difficulties, these are the ones that you would want to download. Okay, so I'm going to read a story, and I'll actually also include it in the, um, the email, so if you just want to read it yourself, you're welcome to do that too. Um, as I'm reading, I want you to print out this. So this is the 36 core word board. So as I'm reading, I want you to have it out in front of your student and point to the word that I say. It'll kind of all make sense when I, um, when I actually have it up. But so have this out or have another version of it. I kind of showed you guys a couple different ones. Um, so if you want like more of like a flip book, you can make that if you wanted the bigger pictures. But if not, you can have the 36 words right on this one. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again, and we're going to read Frozen. Okay, so Frozen. Elsa has the power to make things frozen. She uses her powers to make snow. Anna and Elsa go ice skating. Elsa becomes queen. She is scared people will discover her powers. All of Arendelle found out about Elsa's powers. She decided not to worry about what others think of her and just let it go. Anna, Kristoff, and Sven go to find Elsa. They try to see if they can bring her back to Arendelle. Anna and Kristoff meet their new friend, Olaf. Olaf is going to try to help them find Elsa and get her home to Arendelle. Elsa does not want to come home. She makes a snow monster to scare Anna and Kristoff so that they will turn around and go home. Anna meets the trolls who live in the forest. They tell her to go find her true love or else she will freeze. An evil man named Hans tries to hurt Elsa. It didn't work because good always defeats evil. Anna and Elsa discovered what true love really means. Elsa brought back Summer and told the people of Arendelle to open the gates. She said that all are welcome if they have love in their heart. The end. Well, hopefully everyone enjoyed that. Um, there will be more to come. I'm making more. I'm making a Narnia one right now. So I'm for all of you Chronicles of Narnia fans out there. Um, I'm making that right now, so that'll probably be the next one, but I will be continuing to share some other, um, just some other fun activities that you guys can do to help promote speech and language. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and stay healthy. Bye.